So you're probably asking yourself how a handsome devil like me ended up in a place like this with you, right? All right. I'll tell you the whole story, but I warn you, it ain't pretty. May seem hard to believe, but these chiseled good looks have seen a whole lot of ugly. So I guess I'd have to start with the book. Legend has it that it was written by the Dark Ones. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, roughly translated, The Book of the Dead. About twenty-some-odd years ago, Professor Nobi unearthed the book at Castle Kandar and accidentally unleashed the Deadites in the woods outside Dearborn. That's when I got involved. To make a long story short, I was sent to hell and back, and then back again. And again. But enough about that, let's talk some more about me. Like for example, how did I end up here? Well, I guess you could say it all started with a woman. A woman in that godforsaken book. Welcome, true believers, to another chilling episode of Mysteries of the Occult. I'm Trisha Pettywood, your guide into the realms of shadow and the arcane. Joining me tonight is parapsychologist and best-selling author, Professor Alex Eldridge, author of the critically acclaimed Necronomicon. Welcome, Professor. Thank you, Tricia. It's truly an honor to be here in the very town where my late colleague, Professor Nobi, began his career. <laughs> oh, the honor is all mine. Your brilliant modern translation of this ancient text has set the world on fire. I'm told there's even a film in the works. <clears throat> oh, please. That hack wouldn't know the real Necronomicon from a roll of extra fluffy two-ply. Here, this one's on me. I'm awful sorry about Jenny. Tonight would have been ten years, right? Oh yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Chief. You're a real pal for throwing some margarita salt on the wound there. Perhaps you'd like to poke me in the eye with an umbrella and straw while you're at it. Local Dearborn man that claims the Necronomicon has the power to raise the dead, or even travel interdimensionally through time. While it's easy to get caught up in the mythology behind the book, I'm afraid that sort of thing is just the sad, depraved ramblings of a lunatic. The real power of the Necronomicon lies not in the incantations, but in the poetry. Do you hear that? The guy called me a lunatic. Can you believe that? You want to see a lunatic, buddy? Why don't you come on down here and I'll show you a whole bottle full of lunatics. <sighs> Absolutely fascinating, Professor. We may never know what really happened in that cabin in the woods, but perhaps tonight we can finally shed some light on this famous local mystery. There I was, face to face with the mother of all ugly. So I say, come get some and blam, no more Mr. Nasty Face. Thanks to my investigative work into the Nobi case, I've managed to uncover this amazing piece of evidence. Here in my hand is the last known tape of Professor Nobi, recorded the very night of his disappearance. But then it went bad. My hand, my own hand, it grabs the knife and I... In a Mysteries of the Occult exclusive, we're going to play the tape live in studio. Huh? Oh, I can hardly no. wait. Wait. What the hell are you doing? Don't play it. Don't play that... Taste drop. Mantos Nosferatus. Mine a double. When you've just emptied both barrels of a shotgun into your favorite bartender, you can pretty much bet that what happy hour is over. Things? I went outside to see just how bad the situation was. It was bad. Past experience told me it would get a whole lot worse unless someone hit the deadites where it hurt. And seeing as how the TV station was their shortcut into this world, I figured that was a pretty good place to start. But first, I had to find more weapons. My trusty boomstick was almost empty.
Kids these days, huh? What are those things? They're everywhere! It's like all hell broke loose! Oh, gee. Do you think? Say, you mind telling me where I can find some more ammo for the old double barrel? I'm just a rookie. They don't give us a shotgun until our second year. I'm pretty good with the sidearm, though. Stick with me and we should be okay. Oh, great. An optimist with a gun. Say, Bub, is there another way in here? Uh-huh, yeah. Well, the boss has the key, but he didn't show up for work yet. You know, the guys from the day shift should have clocked out by now, but there have been some freaky noises coming out of there. I sure hope nothing bad's happened to him. Uh, sorry, pal. Sounds to me like your co-workers are playing footsie with the forces of hell right about now. But I'll keep an eye out for your boss, though. Put in a good word for you. this if I had the right equipment. <clears throat> Mind if I slip in here, officer? Sorry, nothing goes in, nothing comes out. Orders. You got a problem? Take it up with the captain. He's around the corner. Hey, Captain, you boys having a little R&R, &R, I see, huh? Dusting the girls for fingerprints, are you? Funny man. Those things in the yard have taken over the strip club, along with pretty much the whole town. Long as they stay in there, we hold these positions. Which means unless you're a cop, you can just turn right around. I relax, I'm on the job, see? Working vice. Deep undercover, you get me? You got a badge to back that up? A badge? Uh, uh, oh, sure, yeah, I'm a cop. I got a badge, right? Only I don't carry it when I'm working on a case, you know, uh... No badge, no go. Clear? Crystal. I'll be right back. <sighs> Oops, there go your precious bodily fluids.
Were you born that ugly? Weapons are us. Hey there, Captain. I got my ID. You mind letting me through now? Whatever. Head on through. It's your ass, not mine. Kiss my boomstick. Okay if I slip inside here? Step aside, buddy. Orders are, no one goes inside. You don't like it? Go see the Captain round by the barricade. Hey, officer. Any luck battling your way inside the strip club? Do I look like I'm crazy? As long as nothing dead walks out of there, I'm fine right here. Well, what about all those helpless citizens who got caught with their pants down? Tell you what, you want in there so bad? Go take care of those things in the yard over there. Once they're out of the way, I'm done here. After I'm gone, you can do whatever the hell you want, officer.
monster. Ah. <laughs> There go your precious bodily food. Hey, what can I say, man? You saved my life. I don't know how to thank you. Money talks. I got this ring. Symbol of the Biker Brotherhood. Here, take it. You're my brother now. Hey, I'm gonna get all misty-eyed here. Stay out of trouble, bro. Say, you work in there? Uh-huh, but tonight I'll make an exception. Smart move. So tell me, how does a handsome guy like me break into showbiz? You want in? Well, I got a key to the main gate, but the station is on emergency lockdown. You need the master key card to get into the station building. But our chief of security has it, and he took off. Yeah? Where to? Said something about dying with a smile on his face. I figure he went to the kitten club. The nudie bar? Who'd have thought an invasion from hell would be so good for business? Here's the key to the gates. Personally, I'm out of here. Break a leg, huh? Wow! Oh, look at that, you're all out of guts. Oh, that's just beautiful.
at that, you're all out of guts. Rocket. Jam solid. I'd have to be superhuman to get this open. There goes Sanguis. The doors are locked. So, what exactly was the plan here, Einstein? Run your hand up the thigh of the supernatural till you get your wrist slapped? I, uh, do seem to have underestimated the power of the book, somewhat. These creatures, if we leave them alone, will they eventually go away? Oh, sure, they'll go hang out with the Easter Bunny. Listen, Brainiac, these are the mother of all pest problems, and we are the exterminators. You know any good rid the world of demons routines? I, uh... I always thought these writings were mere superstitious nonsense. Professor Nobi was the one who truly believed in the Necronomicon's power. Three cheers for Nobi. Did he leave any notes? Any egghead stuff that might tell us how to give these mothers the kiss off? He was obsessed. He wrote endlessly but would never show me his notes. I don't know what happened to them after he died. Well, they gotta be somewhere. And if we're gonna live to see daylight, we have to find them. So, after I saved them from a closed casket funeral, Trish and Eldred showed their gratitude by running for cover in the church, leaving yours truly with the dirty work. Eldred thought Professor Noby made some notes which could help us get out of this thing alive. He seemed to think someone at the university knows where the notes are now. Personally, I figured the cops who investigated Noby's murder might have a better idea.
Got it. Pardon me, officer. I need to find some things belonging to a stiff, a, a, a guy uh, called Noby. Any chance you guys still have his effects? Noby? The old crank at the cabin out in the woods? I don't know. Could be kind of... Wait a minute. Weren't you a suspect in that case? Well, it was me or a bunch of demons from hell. Go figure. Well, that case was closed recently. Anything in Noby's we had as evidence is most likely in the trash by now. You're welcome to sift through the bins behind the station. Ah, great. The one thing missing from my day. Come on, I'll show you. The yard behind the police station was crawling with deadites. Something told me walking in with guns blazing wasn't the smart option. Okay. Everybody lie down on the ground and nobody's gonna get hurt. Oh! Oh God! No! Stop! Ah! 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 It certainly didn't do a whole lot for my police escort. It kind of went against the grain, but I figure I better play this some other way. Pardon my French, Padre, but what the hell is that out there? That, my son, is a vortex. A portal from another dimension. These vile creatures are using it to enter our world. If we are to halt the spread of evil, someone must close all the vortexes which have opened up around the town. Uh-huh. And the standard vortex closing procedure would be? Only pure silver can close a vortex. The Valiant Soul must find something made from silver, then stand beside the Vortex and use the item on it. Well, I'm a Valiant Soul and all, but I'm fresh out of silver. Have faith, my son. The Lord will provide. I hear a gang of bikers robbed a jewelry store last night. You might persuade them to give you some silver, if they're still alive. Trust me, Padre. Living or dead, I can be real persuasive. One other thing. For our safety, I'll lock the church doors after you go. Use this key to get back in. God be with you. Amen to that, brother. Heroic. 
You know, would it kill you to say please just once in a while? I need to see Professor Noby's notes. Can you find them for me? Hey, officer. Mind if a humble scholar slips into the university for a little after-hours study? No way. We're just holding our own down here. Nothing's getting through those gates. You'll have to find some new way. Got it. Stolen silver grease ball. Fork it over. Take it, man. It's yours. You sure don't mess around with those things, do you? I call it tough love. Ah, oh, hell, why pretend? I call it hate.
got it. Nothing a little lift and tuck won't take forever, right? Stick a fork in them. They're done. Thanks, pal. I thought I was toast there. How can I make it up to you? Funny you should ask. I'm in the market for stolen silverware. Wouldn't happen to have any, would you? I did, uh, find this last night. You can keep it. That's all I got, but my buddies have a load more. They're around town somewhere. Unless they're dead on fella. Not sure how you did that, but I'm glad you did. Take this pistol. It might get you out of trouble if you're short on shotgun ammo. Get back! All of you, back! I'll make sure the Dean hears about this. We don't like your class very much, Professor. We're transferring out after we devour your soul. Help me. Well, I solved your little discipline problem there, Prof. No thanks necessary. Now I'm looking for the notes Professor Noby made before he died. Any idea where I can find him? Noby's notes? Why, as it happens, I have them myself, but I don't think they'll be much use to you. Ah, you'd be surprised, Prof. I'm not as dumb as you've heard. Well, I should hope not. Wait here, and I'll fetch the notes. Okay, you guys want to retake the semester? That's fine by me. Ah. Ever read a farewell to arms? Well, I wrote it. Wasn't that a case of overkill? No, I'd say it was just enough kill. You got the notes, Bright Boy? Yes, but as I said, I'm afraid they won't be much use to you. What, you don't think I'm smart enough to read a few crummy notes? 
I know you're not. You see, Professor Noby wrote everything he learned about the Necromonicon using a cipher. A psi what? Hey, remind me what that means. It means he wrote it in code. He was clearly aware of how dangerous the book could be. I've spent years analyzing the notes, but without the cipher, they're gibberish. And no one has seen the cipher since Noby died. You eggheads never do anything the easy way, do you? Well, I guess I'll have to find this cipher. Oh, also, if you're searching for Professor Noby's personal effects, see if you can locate an old gold watch he owned. I'll reward you handsomely for it. So, in English, that would be, you'll make it worth my while, right? How'd you like the taste of that? Well done, my son. That seems to be the last of those vortexes. Keep an eye out for any more opening up around town. Hey, Einstein. Think you can do anything with this? Noby's notes! You found them! Oh, damn that fool! Look, they're written in code! Uh, yeah, I uh, noticed that too. We must find Noby's cipher if we're to make any use of them. Uh, that'll be me again, huh?
Nice. I'm afraid saving your ass comes at a price, buddy. I take all major credit cards or items of pure silver. All I got on me is this here parchment. Figure being old, it could be worth something. I stashed my cut of the silver in the parking lot at the TV station. You're welcome to it. I'm getting the hell out of this town. Got it. Rest in peace. Ah, oh, what do you care? You're dead. When I returned with the goods, I found that someone had beaten me to the church. The Padre was dead and the other two were AWOL. They were probably dead too, but I had to be sure. Oh, what can I say? I got my sensitive side too. And besides, I, I sure as hell wasn't going to translate that crackpot's notes by myself. Hey, officer, you see a hot little redhead and a creepy old bookworm pass this way? Can't say I did. We got a report of civilians being herded up by them dead things and taken to the park. You might want to have a look over there. Look, I understand the attraction, but I hate the clingy type. What the hell? Trisha and Eldridge. I better get in there fast or they'll be resting in pieces.
Ah, lovely. The gates are locked. Finally read Professor Nobi's notes. Excellent. Yes, it's all here. It seems Nobi learned that a mortal could control these evil spirits using an ancient relic called the Kandarian Summoning Stone. Uh, by control you of course mean destroy, right? Isn't that right? Destroy? Yes, of course. The Summoning Stone can be used to send them back to their own dimension. We must find it. Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. Where do we start looking? If it's here, then it must be in the museum. Nathaniel Payne, the man who built it, was a great collector of occult artifacts. If the summoning stone is as important as Nobi thought, Payne would have found it. Trisha and I will go to the museum and try to find the stone. You must close the remaining vortexes that have opened around town. That should buy us some time. You know, would it kill you to say please just once in a while? Didn't your mom ever tell you, never talk to strangers? Ash, you saved us again. How can I ever thank you? Hmm, good question. You ever see a little movie called Deep Throat? Ash, really? What can I say, I'm a man. It's lonely being humanity's savior. Again. And again. Say, are you Robert Graham, care of Auto Parts Dearborn? Who wants to know? Me and Professor Raymond Noby. I got a letter from him addressed to you. Noby? He's been dead 20 years. Tell it to the Postal Service, buddy. Now come on, what's he put in there? Translation from the Necronomicon? Some ancient incantation to rid the world of evil, right? Nah, he owed me for some work I did on his car back in 81. About time, too. Thanks for your trouble, stranger. What? Is that it? Uh, no. Up here. Don't go empty-handed. Would this shotgun ammo be any good to you? Yeah, I might be able to find a use for it. Plenty more where that came from. my ass. That's all right. I'm not that kind of guy. But I'm going to have to relieve you of any stolen goods you might have on you. Once you've relieved me, can I get out of this crazy town? Hey, there's no way I'm relieving you, pal, but sure, blow.
Hey, somebody ordered Dead Guy's Watch? You found it. It dates from the Civil War. A priceless antique, quite valuable. Uh, to a student of history, that is. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm real happy for you. Now come on, cough up the handsome reward. Oh, uh, yes, of course. How may I be of help to you? I don't suppose a scholar such as yourself would know a way into the museum. You know, secret entrances, underground passages. No, nothing like that, I'm afraid. I do have a key for the front door, though. It happens I'm on the board of trustees. Well, what a coinky dink. When I finally got inside the museum, it was dark and quiet. You know, what the hell happens next kind of quiet. There was no sign of Trisha or Eldridge. Then again, it seemed like the legions of the undead were on a break too. I figured now would be a good time to look around for my two compadres. There it is, inside your skull. This is Nathaniel Payne. Here's a look of someone who's hiding something. It says, an ancient Greek vase, circa 440 BC.
Freeze! Don't come any closer! Or what, you'll shout freeze again? Sorry, buddy. I thought maybe you were one of those creatures. Oh, it's an easy mistake. Sure, I look just like him. Hey, listen. You seen a cute but annoying redhead and a nutty professor hanging around the museum? They're not in here, and I sure as hell haven't been out there. Not since the exhibit started coming to life. I always knew something like this had happened someday. You did? This place was built by a man called Nathaniel Payne. Big on the occult, brought in weird artifacts from all over. Rumor was, he even built some kind of secret temple in here for making blood sacrifices. Well, people sure got some weird hobbies, don't they? Uh, where is this Payne guy now? No one knows. They say one day, about 20 years ago, he went down into his temple and just never came out. Well, he must have cable. Do you know if Payne got a hold of a Kandarian summoning stone? I don't know, but it sure sounds bad. Well, just think pure evil and you'll be close. Evil was Payne's specialty. If he had the stone, it'll be in the temple. Now then I need to get in there. Can you give me a hand? There's supposed to be a hidden entrance someplace in the museum. Here's my security pass. It'll give you access to the East Wing exhibits. I'll open up the basement. I opened all the doors in the basement. Only one of them stuck. The uh, system's flaking out. I'll keep on trying. You know, if I may say so, you look kind of sexy behind bars. Not now, Ash. We got locked in when the security system kicked in. You have got to get us out of here. Don't get your panties in a twist. I'll get you out. You are wearing panties, aren't you? Ash! This isn't the time for this. I think it's stuck. You don't say. What now? Well, I guess I could maybe blow it up. Are you insane? Look, if you can just cut the power to the security system, the door should open automatically. Now why didn't I think of that? <laughs> you really want to know? Looks like a map of the building with five locations marked on it.
One day I hope to turn my back on violence forever. Till then, I'm gonna love my work. This'll do the job.
Hey, buddy. Buddy? Oh, yeah. Excellence in the workplace. That's my motto. Come to Papa. This'll do the job. Hey, Einstein. Ever seen one of these gizmos before? It appears to be some sort of divining device. Such things were reputedly used to locate crystals with powerful magic properties. But of course, that's just superstition. Right, you mean crystals like these? Hmm, yes. Much like those. Okay, so what do I do with them? I'm not at all sure. Off the record, you don't have a clue what the hell you're doing, do you? holes cut into the door. I wonder what those symbols represent. They look like the same ones I saw on that map back there.
there goes Sanguine. Sada, solid aid and listen. Ash is back with a new addition. do the job. Hello? Anybody here? I, uh, I'm looking for a Nathaniel Payne. Nathaniel Payne? No? It's about the Kandarian Summoning Stone. Um, see, I need to borrow it for a while. Look, I'll bring it right back, okay? Who disturbs my rest? Woo, woo. Hey, uh, if this is a bad time, I can come back. No, this is the perfect time. For you to die! Zuntai. Oh, mama, somebody light a match. Oh, 
Oh. Anybody got a pooper scooper handy? Yep, that's one hell of a stone, all right. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Remind me never to let you decorate my place. Here you go, Doc. Make yourself useful. I'll see what I can do. So, tell me, Trish. What do you do with yourself when you're not chasing spooks and demons? <laughs> Why do you ask? Well, I was thinking maybe when Dr. Demento here finishes this little exorcism, Flat. I'd give you the chance to Thunder. score with the captain of Team what kick -Ass. That would be me. Yes, I don't know. People around town say you're crazy. <laughs> Dangerous, even. Nikto. Baby. Tells me we're not all playing on the same team. We are the things that once were and shall be again. Dead by dawn. You know, I was afraid you were gonna say that. <gasps> What's happening? Where did he go? Well, something tells me it ain't summer camp. I'm gonna have to take a rain check on the lovin', baby. Looks like my work here is just getting started. You're not going in there! Are you crazy? Crazy is as crazy does, baby. Now give me some sugar. I followed Eldritch through the vortex, but very quickly wished I hadn't. My landings needed work, and it was worse to come. I'd caught up with Eldridge all right, only it looked like he was now playing trumpet in the Salvation Army of Darkness. Right on cue. I knew you'd follow me. Nothing if not predictable, my cretinous friend. Watch who you're calling friend. You know, you can judge a man by the company he keeps, and yours smells like roadkill, pal. And yet I suspect they're your intellectual equals. Excuse me if I leave you to become acquainted. It's late, I'm tired, and I still have to take over the world. Okay, so what are you guys supposed to be? The cavalry? Mr. Williams, what are you doing out here alone? You know how dangerous these woods have become. Do I know you? Why, you've been the blacksmith of our town for nigh on 20 years. Did you take a blow to the head? I think you're confusing me with someone else, like a blacksmith maybe. I've known you since you were knee-high to a cartwheel, though I confess. I never saw you in such strange garb. Look, let's not start with the whole garb thing, okay? I'm trailing someone, and I figured he headed into town. Do you mind pointing out the way? The town is back down that road a ways. Did you forget that, too? 
Please go home and rest, Mr. Williams. Boy, this Mr. Williams stuff is getting old real fast. Shotgun shells matter. Got it. There goes Okay, so if you're the owner, I'm guessing this must be the little house on the prairie. Why, it's Williams, isn't it? Mr. Williams, the... Yeah, yeah, I got it. Williams, the blacksmith. Now, hey, pal, I'm running a little low on silver, and I could sure use some for, uh, <clears throat> uh, blacksmithing. Got any I could borrow? Hmm. Would you be making silver bullets, Mr. Williams? To rid the forest of these infernal creatures? Well, as a matter of fact, you're getting pretty damn warm. Can you help me out? All I have is this ring. It was my father's and his father's before him. Do you promise to use it well? Hey, how long have you known old Willie the blacksmith? Come on! Here, take it and Godspeed. Come get some.
back on violence forever. Till then, I'm gonna love my work. Evening, Padre. Sorry to bust in on you, but... You're welcome in the Lord's house. I was about to pray for the soul of our dear town. Will you join me? Uh, no, but I, I think it's a swell idea. Hey, I'm looking for a guy. A real triple-A sinner material. Might have come this way. You seen anyone suspicious looking? I did see a man run into the graveyard a while back. Something about him urged me to be wary, so I locked the graveyard gate after him. Well, that's good. Wary is good. And where's the key? I threw it away. In the circumstances, I thought, better safe than sorry. Where this town is concerned, Padre, it's a little late for both. Is that gate the only way out of the graveyard? No, there are two paths that lead into the woods beyond the graveyard, but I doubt he would be reckless enough to venture there. Well, that's because you don't know Eldred. See, he's a moron. Come on, come get some! Looks like this guy is a man after my own heart. And every other part, too. Nice shooting. You must be Williams. Sure am. Who am I talking to? Well, um, here's the thing. See, I think you and me might be family, only not in the home for Thanksgiving sort of way. Talk straight to me, fella. You saying we're kin? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy, but just hear me out. I'm from the future, and I have a hunch that I am your great, 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 great something or other. Hell, that don't surprise me. It don't? Look around you. Whole world's gone crazy all of a sudden. Plus, you sure got the Williams chin. Question is, you got the Williams balls? Uh, how do we tell? I'm hoping you came here with a little future know-how to kick the butt of these damn dirty demon whatevers. That right? No, well, pretty close, only it's way easier said than done. Are you any good at making weapons? Ain't nothing I can't cook up with a piece of metal. Bring me the parts and I'll cook something up for you. Might even have something on you I can use. Well, I got this lighter. Can you do anything with that? Hmm. Give me that spray thing of me you got there. Now go find some more parts. Time you come back, I'll have something sweet for you. Meantime, you can take my hand cannon along for company. Thanks. I'll be sure to keep it warm. Rocky. 
secretly replace this deadite's brain with a chainsaw blade. But be quiet. Let's see if he notices. Yeah. Hey, uh, you look like a guy with his finger on the pulse. It, uh, sounds dumb, I know, but do you mind telling me what year it is? Been taking a drop of the blacksmith's moonshine, friend? Last I heard, it's the year of our Lord, 1695. 1695. Oh, terrific. Oh, that's just great. Yep, some are born to use a chainsaw. Others have chainsaws thrust upon them. Nice going, Gramps. Hey, I dropped this piece of paper. I wouldn't have pegged him for a big reader. I found one of those earlier, covered in strange writings. Made my flesh creep. I gave it to the preacher in case he could make sense of it. Smart move. Here, I found this over by the barn. Anything mean and deadly spring to mind? Hmm, hand me that boomstick of yours. Give me a couple of ticks and I'll see what I can fashion.
Huh. Wonder what a place like this goes for in 1695. Open, breezy, light, a real fixer-upper. Here you go. Fires eight rounds without a reload now. Use these bolt cutters on it. Figure they might be useful to you. Thanks, Pops. I finished with your spray thingamajig, too. Just fill it with moonshine or anything else it burns, and you can use it to shoot fire. Hey, kind of like a flamethrower, huh? Flamethrower? I like that. Might get me a patent on this little beauty. I filled it with some of my own moonshine to get you started. Damn near broke my heart, but... Thanks, Gramps. I'll be sure and give our friends your warmest regards. Oh yeah, excellence in the workplace, that's my motto. I need to get a hold of some little pieces of paper, kind of like supernatural recipe cards. The blacksmith said he passed one to you earlier, is that right? Why, yes. In truth, first time I saw you, I thought you were he. Yeah, I get that a lot. Here. I confess it means little to me, but beware. Only evil comes of such things. Believe me, you're preaching to the converted, Padre. Cool. I got back to the blacksmith's house, but Gramps was nowhere to be seen. From the look of things, he had visitors. And he gave him his usual country welcome. Only this time, he was missing in action. I figured I'd better find him in Pronto. Now, I'm no expert on this fifth dimension tourism stuff, but I had a hunch my great great something or other going belly up in the past wasn't going to do much for my future.
Nost oh crap. Orb, um, oops. That's cleared up. There's a five sided hole carved in the gray. Looks like you're out of places to run, Eldritch. Like a backward child, you can't resist sticking your finger in the electrical socket, can you? You're up to the elbow already, Einstein. Give it up. By way of farewell, Mr. Ash, I arranged a little family reunion. One false move, and your not-so-illustrious ancestor goes to his grave without an heir. Some might call that a blessing, but for you... All right already, I get the picture. Allow me to join the dots. He dies, you die. Which is why you're going to run a little errand for me. I need a spell to send me back through the vortex. Unfortunately, some of our undead friends want it too. So you want me to slice and dice and bring back the spell, right? I think that plays to your strengths, don't you? The spell is in five pieces. Bring all five to me and I'll spare the blacksmith. You know something, Eldridge? Your mouth is like my ass. Nothing good ever comes out of it. Spare me your feeble insults and get to work.
Come on, you're getting blood everywhere. know what killing is. Okay, Eldritch, here's the spell. Now let the blacksmith go. At last. Now, if you'll excuse me. Kalutu, Monstro, Kondo, and Revertens. Hey, Merlin, we had a deal. Goodbye, Ash. And good riddance. I'll follow you to hell and back, Eldridge. And back again. I'm afraid for you that's a one-way ticket. Take one step closer and my friends kill the blacksmith, remember? <laughs> you know, size doesn't matter. Shotgun shells matter. Monster. 
monster. Ah. Hey, how they hanging, Gramps? Just peachy. You're a Williams for sure. Welcome to the family, fella. Thanks, but I'm afraid I got some unfinished business on the other side of that vortex. I understand. Guess a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Thought I'm making that the family motto. Sounds swell. Here, I found this for you. I guess now I'll never know what you made out of it. I'll use it well, kinsman. Well, so long, old fella. And take care of yourselves, will you, for both of our sakes. A quick spin through dimensions and I landed right after Eldritch. But it looked like we took another detour through History 101. Eldritch hightailed it into some kind of old fort and showed them his party piece with a vortex. By the sounds coming from inside, they weren't too impressed. One thing was for sure, though. I had to find a way into that fort. Are you a union man? Sure, I pay my dues. How about you? Ah, this is a union fort. The rebels have sent demons from hell to attack us. They've overrun the fort. I saw my captain eating alive. Yankees and Confederates, huh? I guess I'll buy that. But this war of yours just got a little less civil. How do I get into that fort? Ain't no way you're getting through. Them gates are barred from inside and strong enough to stop a buffalo charge. You'd need an army to break them down. Let's see what this little baby can do. those barrels of gunpowder up there. So how about it, stranger? You Confederate or Yankee? Yeah, I'm just kind of on the fence there. I'm just your average guy with a chainsaw. That's me. You give me one good reason I don't put a bullet in you right now. Because if you try it, I'm going to shove this chainsaw so far up your ass, you'll be whistling Dixie through a hole in your head. Comprende? You got spunk, boy. I'll give you that. I'll not kill you today, but you won't live long in the middle of a war. Not without a side to fight for. Believe me, I got battles of my own. You change your mind, we're camped in the woods beside town. The South could use a man with spirit and a strong arm. I'll think about it. Me and Colonel Sanders, yes sir. -y.
Evening, Padre. Not much of a turnout tonight, huh? You're welcome in the Lord's house, my son. How did you get a key? Well, that's a long story, and we're kind of in the middle of a war scenario. Truly. I've offered the church as sanctuary from the perils of war, but none of the townsfolk have come yet. They've been through so much already. Wish I could tell you otherwise, but they could be going through a whole lot more. Please, my son, if you find any of my flock, bring them to the safety of the church. Don't you worry, Padre. I'll make like a regular shepherd boy. All right, listen up, you screwheads. You don't want to be hanging around here. There's a king-sized demonic army all set to storm the town. You're too late, mister. The Confederates already tore through here. We lost everything. We ain't got no place to hide. Uh, there's worse to come, buddy. Follow me, the church is the only safe place left in town. My flock, you found them. Thank goodness. You've done the Lord's work, my son. It appears one of my flock found this fragment of a map near the Confederate camp. I'm afraid the other half of the map is missing, but perhaps you can find the other piece. I'm way ahead of you, Padre. One last thing, son. You look like the sort of man who might find a use for this parchment I found. It looks to me like pure evil. But the Lord works in mysterious ways. Name's Ash. I need to see your commanding officer. Hold fast. You got identification? No one passes into camp lest they can prove who they are. Hey, hey, at ease or something, okay? Geez, you guys need to relax. Stop right there! I told you, no one gets into camp lest they identify themselves first. Easy there, buddy. Will this do you? Yes, Smart. You want a Colonel Smart's man? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Well, shoot, why didn't you say so? Any of Killer Smart's boys is welcome here. It's an honor, friend. Yeah, the feeling's mutual, I'm sure. From the silverware on your chest, I'm guessing you're either the head honcho or a big fan of Mr. T. And who the hell are you, mister? Name's Ash, housewares. I'm the guy who's gonna help you take on that little Union fort you've had your eye on. What makes you think I need your help to rap that Yankee rabble? Cowards didn't so much as fire a shot in hours. Uh, well, that might be due to the flesh-eating demons that have taken over the fort. Demons? What kind of crazy nonsense is this? The kind that sneaks up and bites you on the ass. Believe me, Captain, demons are munching their way through that fort and pretty soon they'll come looking for dessert. Now either you help me get inside and kick their undead asses back to hell, 
or you and your men are dead meat. No, in fact, make that live meat. Afraid I'm gonna need more convincing than that, mister. You bring me one of these things in the flesh, maybe I won't put it all down to a case of trench fever. Till then, dismissed. What the hell was that? Damn thing was trying to eat my men! You say an army of these things have taken Fort Dearborn? Yep, and the rest of them won't wait for an invite to come calling. So you gonna help me take that fort, or are you gonna hang around for the undead dinner bell? We'll help, but there aren't enough of us. We can't do it alone, and I doubt the Yankees will be willing to help us storm their own fort. Hey, you don't know till you ask, and I'm a born diplomat. You just leave it to me. I guess you must be the man in charge around here. Name's Williams. Ashley J. Williams. But you can call me... Ash! My God, can it be true? Uh, have we met? My great-great-great-granddaddy used to tell tale of a one-armed stranger from the future, who once saved this town for the minions of hell. Williams the blacksmith? Yes. No one in the family really believed him, but I guess I was always partial to ghost stories. And now here you are, in the flesh. But if you're here, does that mean... Bingo, baby. Deadites, and lots of them. They've taken the fort already, and they'll wipe out this whole town before sunup if we don't stop them. I hear the Confederates build a barricade to stop us getting to the fort. That should stop the Deadites getting into town for a while, buy us some time. Uh, about that barricade? I might have damaged it just a little bit. Damaged it? Well, <laughs> maybe a lot, actually. Then nothing stands between them and the town. I'll gather the rest of the company and prepare to attack the fort. On my way, Captain. Me and the Boomstick are gonna spend some quality time. One more thing, Ash. Stop by my house and you'll find an old family heirloom. Something Blacksmith Williams made after you left. Figure he always meant for you to have it. Guess I could do with a lucky horseshoe right about now.
Hey, nice. Cool. Got it. Hey, nice. Cool. Hey, nice. Turn my back on violence for it. Till then, I'm gonna love my work. One million two hundred and fourteen thousand three hundred and twenty. Hey, say, deadites. Um, zero.
love my chainsaw. Guaranteed to break the ice in part. Cool. Two Empator. So, how's your love life? Must be hard to impress the girls when you can't find your jaw. All right, the last of the vortexes are closed. Are you men ready for the fight of your lives? Surely, but we're still heavily outnumbered. If only we could get the Confederates to agree to a ceasefire. One step ahead of you there, Cappy. 
the Confederates will join in the attack. Now what happens after the Deadites are gone is up to you and Captain Sullivan. But there ain't gonna be an after if we don't take that fort. Fairly spoken. We got a family motto. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. I'll see you on the battlefield, Ash. Ugly to keep you cold. Eldridge. Ash. These encounters are becoming tiresome. I thought I'd seen the last of you almost 200 years ago. A few centuries ain't enough to hold off the payback you've got to come. How admirable. I'd stay and admire your tenacity a little longer, but the future calls. I'll be sure and give your regards to Trisha. Hurt her and I'll kill you. That would be a neat trick. Enjoy the Civil War, Ash. Live long, kill many, and then be good enough to die. Empator. Hey, nice.
Nowhere left to run, Einstein. It's just you, me, and the boomstick. You ridiculous moron. You can't stop me. Sure I can. This baby's point and shoot and I've had plenty of target practice. This moron is on a roll. You know, you nerds are all alike. You go through life with your panties in a wad just because the other children never let you keep your lunch money. Well, Poindexter, your inner child's about to get a lead enema. Uh... Professor? So I got back to the here and now, only someone had been doing some remodeling. From the decor, I figured it was the Deadites. And someone in all this mess was Trisha, if she was still alive. I'd lost some fine women to the Deadites. I wasn't about to give up on another. But first I had to find someone who could tell me what the hell happened while I was enjoying my whistle-stop history tour.
You gotta help us. Please, mister, get us out of here. Okay, okay, I'm on it. But what the hell happened here? Those things came out of nowhere. Took over the whole town. People they didn't meet, they turned into slaves. And for some reason, they started digging. Making these tunnels under the town. Well, I guess dead guys like the smell of dirt. Maybe. But then one day they found the remains of an old Civil War fort. That's where the stone was buried. The stone. Oh, the Kandarian summoning stone. Oh, hell, I knew I forgot something. Once she had the stone, there was no stopping them. She rules them like her own army. She? Who is she? Their queen. She lives in some kind of chamber under the old church, but no one's ever seen it. Or at least, no one's ever come out alive to talk about it. Now I figure I'm gonna have to buck that losing streak. Meantime, I'll see about getting you sweethearts out of here. Please, hurry up and get us out of here. If they find you here, we're all done for. Always remember that.
Thank God, mister! You came back! I thought sure you were lost to one of those creatures. Pencils and socks get lost, buddy. People get killed. Except for yours truly, that is. Now tell me, is there another way out of here? Sure. These tunnels connect with the sewer system. I worked there most of my life before these creatures came along. I guess I'm not the only one who's had to slog his way through crap for half his life. Here, take this wrench. It'll open that sewer grate over there. The tunnel should take us back up to the surface. One more thing. You haven't seen a cute little redhead around here, about so tall, kind of frigid, if you know what I mean? No, but I've heard there's some survivors hiding out on the surface. Maybe they've seen your lady friend, if she hasn't been eaten alive already. That's right, buddy. Just keep cheering me up. I could have sworn there was only one in a second. This'll do the job. Rock. Groovy. Rock. This'll do the job.
Sorry, I didn't hear you on account of your face being
Don't be shy.
I'd see you again. You always liked me, didn't you, Ash? Trisha, geez, woman, what the hell are you doing in the Queen's lair? Don't you realize that... I hope you like them. What's the matter, Ash? It's not the end of the world. Maybe not, but I can see it from here. So anyway, Trish blew up and the rest is history. I retrieved the Kandarian summoning stone, got back that translation, whatchamacallit, and recited the incantation to send me back home. Trouble is, I sort of messed up some of the words. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Well, this has been a nice little visit, but I think it's time me and the stones skedaddled back to Michigan. Now that's what? East to here, right? So then the squirrel says, Hey, you do whatever you want with your nuts, pal, but I'm eating mine. <laughs> うんざりしてんじゃ。え、奴を切り刻んで蝶を虎に食わせろ。俺が蝶を楽しむ間に奴の叫び声が聞けるようにな。What's <笑> Groovy.